And don't forget, get you some business cards printed up. Those are my business cards right there. But once you get your business cards printed up, put your cash app and your Venmo on there. And just tell them, use my phone to be, you know, you could tip me. It's more direct and it's more secure when you tip me through my phone versus going through the app. So get you some cards made up, you know what I'm saying? That's the front of my card and that's the back of my card right there. So like I said, it's got my phone number on there right there. I ain't going to show you the whole number, but that's my phone number at the bottom of it. Get you some cards made up and put that on the back of it right there. This is how we make money, y'all. What'd you think about Uber? Uber raggedy? They raggedy? Uber ragged as hell, huh? Tell them. Say, Uber, you ragged. Yeah, you ragged ass. You ragged ass Uber. Back of my, um, my acceptance rates, especially on Lyft. So I decided to take a look today. <laughs> I was like, are you serious? Let me see. My acceptance rate is 2% on Lyft. Look at that shit. 2%. My cancel rate is 2%. I'm still a five-star driver, no safety flags, no service flags. But 2% acceptance rate, that means every two out of 100 rides on fucking Lyft are okay. The rest of them are fucking trash. That's crazy. So I'm 2% over there. And then on Uber, what am I as far as today goes? Let me see what do I got. My dog's in there barking at me. My dog's mad because I won't let my dog outside. Let me see if I can go in here and see. Here we are. 29%. Acceptance, 23% cancels. Not bad, 4.99. There we go. Let me see how many rides have I had. Almost 7,000 rides. That's it, almost 7,000 rides. Not bad, not bad. About to get started here Saturday night. That's where my fuel is sitting right there. 137 miles still empty, just below half a tank, 6.38 p.m. Hey, let's get the show on the road. Let's go get these crusty dusties. Okay, so let's crank up this Uber app real quick. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah, I'm confirmed for the 450 booth starting at 7 o'clock. That's in about 20 minutes. Then I got another one at 9. I got a, a private ride coming up tonight, so I got to be ready to deal with that. Uh, let me get this at midnight to 1. That's 1 till 2. Man, they throwing out nothing but boosts all night. And you know how we cherry pickers do. I got that set up for 5 o'clock in the morning, so I'll be out until at least 2, 3 come home for a break for a minute go back out in five then look at these all these 450 like little bonuses they got all these 450 extra on every trip all these boosts but i don't know let's see what they're gonna do tonight let me see what i'm on, I'm on. paw patrol or what yep uber pet let's get off uber pet let's put it on uber x 15 dollars right below me let's hear him go back on uber pet <laughs> i'm gonna go around the corner and get that 15 dollars i'll be right back y'all know i'm gonna get it Shit, hopefully I can get down there before it disappears. But man, that 15 looking good. And it's like right around the corner from me. That's that's at least like I would say a mile and a half, two miles. So a mile and a half, two miles, I'll shoot over there for the $15. If it was further than that, I wouldn't even mess with it because like I said, it ain't worth it. But if I can get down there, if I can at least get, you know, $9, it'll be worth it. Because like I said, it's about two, three miles away. That'll be about $4 a mile. And that way, if I can get down there, pick that up, start my night off with a $15 surge. Let's see. I'm about to listen to some music because I got to get it, but I'm going to let y'all know in a second. Almost there. I'm sitting on 425 right now. As soon as I hit this corner, the highway is right there. Hit the highway, go south, bam. I should pick up the 15, get off the highway at Guadalupe, and then turn on UberX. Probably go over to Walmart, pick up somebody who's got a real quick grocery run. I'll do that. If it's two or three miles, I can do it. Two or three miles, they'll probably give me like $18, $19 for it. And then I'll start mine off with that. Let's see. So far, that's my thinking right now. So let's see if that shit works out how I think it will. Okay, the most they gave me was $625. As soon as I got past that damn red light, of course, I was at, I hit two red lights on the way here. So that kind of held me up. I would already been here a long ass time ago, if not for those red lights. But I'm coming up on another red light right now. So after these segments of red lights I'm going through, I'll turn my app on, but I got to get through all this shit right now. Like I said, these motherfuckers, they don't do nothing but throw you red lights. That's all they do the whole time is throw you red lights. So, like I said, I'll show you motherfuckers what I'm talking about. Because y'all be like, what do you mean all these red lights? This is the shit I be talking about right here. This is where I be sitting. Like in front of all these motherfucking red lights. <laughs> it's like, it ain't shit but just traffic out here. It's 646, nothing but traffic, nothing but red lights everywhere. So that's what I mean. Like I said, I can't do no, I can't move around. I can't function. It'd be way too many red. That's why I usually start driving about nine or 10 at night. 
I cannot deal with all of this traffic, all these lights move around the way I want to move around and still catch surges how I catch them. When it ain't no cars around, oh, I be catching them surges. Y'all see me doing that shit. I be snagging some surges like a motherfucker. But with all this traffic right here, I can't mess with it. I'm like, there's cars going down the roads in each direction for as far as you can see. I'm not messing with that. I ain't messing with that. No, no. So, and this is by the mall right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to uh, probably Priest. And I'm going to turn away like, I should be going up here towards Tempe, but they got a game going up there right now. Since they got a game going on at Tempe, because that's the ASU game right here. And it's, it's a lot of the Oregon Ducks playing at ASU right now, but they probably already got the game over, no telling. But I'm not, no, I'm not going up there. It's just way too busy for me right now. And if I turn my app on right now, then I got to fight through all this traffic. I'm in the far, far right lane. I'm in curb lane because I'm going to make a right turn. If I turn the app on, they're going to give me some shit that's to the left. I guarantee it never fails. I could turn the app on just to show you motherfuckers what I'm talking about. As soon as I turn this shit on, it's going to be a ride straight ahead to the left just because I'm in the right lane. Watch this. I'm going to show you just to prove this shit. If they prove me wrong, then they prove me wrong. But these motherfuckers always got me going north. They'll have me picking up somebody north when I'm about to turn south right now. It'd be like, or somebody be way behind me and shit. And I got to turn around and go back to the mall behind me. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you what they were going to do? So I'm going to hear them go back to Paw Patrol. Get that. Because that was actually going, it was over to the left at the mall, picking up somebody from the mall and taking them all the way up north. I know how these fucking apps work. They're not going to give me nothing going south because they want to get me to these crazy ass areas where there's a lot of cars because they think, let's get all the cars we need up to where the people need rides at. I'm trying to go to an area where there ain't no fucking traffic. I'm trying to get away from all these motherfuckers. I'm going south because if I can go south and be away from the craziness until later, I'm cool with that. My appointment ain't until 9 p.m. and it's downtown. So I could do all my little picking down here where there's nobody at. Then when 9 p.m. comes, I'll start heading to where I got to get to. After I do that little quick private ride, then I can get back online and do some more Uber shit. But I'm not ready to go north yet because, like I said, even when they just had me, they had me going across the street over to the left when I was in the far right lane, had me going over to the left to the mall to pick up somebody to take them all the way north. Nope, I don't do that shit. I know how these apps work. So I leave that shit on Paw Patrol. I'll get up here. It's like There's a lot of traffic right here anyways. I'm going to get up here on Paw Patrol, turn my shit on when I get up by Walmart, hopefully get somebody that's leaving the grocery store for a real quick ride because there's nothing but apartment complexes all behind the Walmart that's on Elliott and like Priest, all apartment complexes. And people go grocery shopping, real short rides. Love that shit. I'm still on Paw Patrol. Right where I was saying that $15 was, look, they did. They threw a $12 up there. See, I went down. That's why I wanted to come south because I'm like, I'm going south. So I cut to the south. Now I'm headed to buy where this $12 is. I just had to cut across the bridge to get there. I was going to go down the highway and get there till they fucking took away the 15. So I just went straight. But now they threw the 12 right back where the 15 was. What do I do? Cut over and get the fucking 12. I know they probably like, this motherfucker, his ass. I'm like, yep, I already had the 625. Might as well cut over the bridge. 12 is sitting right here. Let's go get it. Like I said, I'm going to make a real quick right turn right here, go north a little bit, hit the golf course, go into the parking lot, turn around, and come back south again. Like I said, they they will throw surge up all around the place to keep you away from getting it. But you just got to position yourself right. Throw that shit on fucking Paw Patrol. Cruise for a minute. You ain't in a rush. You ain't in a fucking rush. Oh, shit. All these cars right here. Yeah. I didn't look to the right. This, this $12 might not be worth it. Let me see. How can I get through this shit? Yeah, this $12 might not be worth it because right now it's a fucking parking lot going to the right. Literally a parking lot. Yeah, so I'm going straight. Fuck this shit. Yeah, I'm turning. I'm not going that way. No. Yeah, I had to I had to make a left turn. I was not about to go to the right. My bad on that shit. Fuck that $12. That shit was a parking lot, motherfucker. Like I said, it ain't worth it. You got to look at it. It ain't about the mileage sometimes. That shit was like a half mile, but them cars wasn't fucking moving from that light all the way back. They were not fucking going nowhere. Those motherfuckers were situated. They were not moving. So I was like, nope, not doing it. Fuck that shit, not doing it. So now I'm gonna cruise up here real quick. I'll turn my shit back on when I get up here, but I'm not going backwards. Nope, it ain't nothing but traffic back that way. And see, the thing is, they got the 10 torn up, the 143 torn up. They doing a lot of construction down here. 
So that's why they're throwing surges in these areas over here. They're trying to get people to take these rides over here. That shit wasn't worth it to me. Hell no, I wasn't about to go backwards and deal with that shit. Nope, nope. So I'm gonna come up here on Elliott, and right up here on Elliott is where that Walmart is. I was headed to that Walmart anyways. So that's where I'm gonna go up to this Walmart, cut across, uh, probably do a real short trip that way. But definitely, do not come near 143 at nighttime because they got so much construction going on. Man, it's nuts, it's nuts on this side of town. That's why they had that 15 sitting there now. <laughs> People probably up at the restaurant. There's a restaurant at the top of the hill right there. See that restaurant, Rus uh, Rustler's Rooster? That shit is a really nice restaurant. There are people up there trying to get a ride. It's right next to a golf course. There are people up there trying to get a ride. Ain't nobody going over there because there's nothing but parking lot traffic the whole way through. So that shit's gonna be surging. I, I bet they throw 20 up there trying to get somebody up there. But even for $20, I wouldn't sit in that shit. They had to put a 50 on that motherfucker. 50 on it plus a guarantee that I get the 50? Cool. I, if I gotta park my motherfucking car and jog down the fucking street, I could beat the traffic just jogging. I could park at the motherfucking apartments. There's some apartments right here. These apartments where it's Kale Marilla and all this crazy shit. These are apartments right here. All these are apartment complexes. See, I could have parked my car right there. Wait, where am I at? Back here. I could have parked my car right here. Right up this Kale Guadalupe. All these, where it's 425. These are all apartments. I could have parked my car in there and jogged my ass across the golf course and got that 12 and ran back. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker out running boy we be playing pokemon go with these motherfucking surges that's what juan vargas call that shit pokemon go you get out the fucking car and jump a fence he's done it that motherfucker's done it before he'll jump out the car fucking hop a fence run across the field get that shit and run right back to the car i could have did it just then but i wasn't thinking about it now it's like a pretty good idea but i'm not turning around fuck that shit nope nope I could have probably ran over there and got it. Because like I said, I could have just turned, but I would have been stuck over there. If I would have made that right, I would have been stuck in those apartments. So good deal I didn't. All right, let's go off this shit. Let's go back to UberX. Because I'm by the Walmart now. So let's go to UberX and see if we can pick up somebody at Walmart. Motherfuckers going to be like, hey, there's a car right there. Get him. We'll see what we can come up with. They got me down on this side of town. Like I said, I'll be here for the next couple of hours before my uh, private ride pops up. So, and hey, if, if you guys need, man, get Vistaprint. Go to Vistaprint. Get some cards made up. You know what I'm saying? You got to start looking out for yourself. These apps ain't looking out for nobody. Fuck all these gig tubers talking about the apps is looking out for you because they putting people heads on the map and shit like that. Fuck that. You know better. You know better. You are not no child. You fucking know better. You know what it feels like for a motherfucker to look out for you. These apps ain't looking out for me. I don't feel it. I don't fucking feel it. $49 to go down there. Man, that's a fucking crazy ride. Yeah, I don't do rides like that. I don't know. Nah, they out their motherfucking mind. It's like, they, they sitting there trying to get me to do a stupid ass fucking ride because they think they don't know what type of driver I am. I'm that motherfucker. I'm like, no, no. You're not about to give me 50 bucks to go to Santan and I got to be downtown at 9 o'clock for my private ride. Two opposite sides of fucking town. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. See, Trip Radar, what do we got? 11 bucks for some China Jade? No. $15 to go back up to Tempe? Yeah, I didn't like that trip. I just didn't like that one. I mean, they're, they're taking me all the way back to the mall, and I'm not going all the way back up to the mall through all that crazy-ass traffic. I just left that shit. I'm not cutting back up through there, because there's, like I said, they can give me something down in this area right here. See, like that. I like that. I could do that. But I'm in the left lane and they're going to make me turn right. So I'm going to go over and pick up Annie real quick. I like that trip. That's a much better trip. So I'm going to go do that. But I'm not in the curb lane right now. I'm actually in the left turn lane. So I got to go up here. I got to go straight U-turn and come back and pick up Annie that way. That's how no these motherfuckers notorious for giving you shit on the wrong side of the street. Like when I'm on the right, when I'm in the right lane, they give me shit going left. When I'm in the left lane, they give me shit going right. It's just how it works out. These motherfuckers, they know exactly what they're doing. They just fucking with us off Annie. It was a quick $12 trip real quick. That was that. I was like right around the corner from her. Picked her up real quick. And that was that little short trip. You know, it was about three miles total for about 12 bucks. Easy. But now I'm picking up Rosario. Now, this is the deal. She's actually going downtown Phoenix. 
a place where I need to be because it's 710 right now. I got an hour, 40 minutes to be down there. So this is my ride to get down there. I think it's like 20, 30 bucks. I don't even know. I just saw it going downtown. So I took it. It's free gas money. <laughs> it's like, I don't even know what the price was. It was like a mile away from her. I'm like, cool, a mile away and going to downtown Phoenix. I'll take it because I need that ride right now because I'm way far south. I'm like, I am like way down here and I need to be way up there where it says Phoenix. So this is my ride to Phoenix right now. Like I said, I don't know how much it is. I'll find out when the ride is over. I know it's double digits because I just saw two digits, but I wasn't worried about it. I was looking at how far it was from me and where it was going. That's all I needed to know at the time. I'm one of them weird ass drivers like that. Because like I said, if it wasn't so busy, if it was easier at night, like it was open traffic and I can get on the highway and really get it, I would have probably paid more attention. But all I was looking for at this time was though, I need to get a ride down there. That's it. So that was this is my ride right now. But Annie is funny because she was actually waiting on some EMT people because they got to do like a party tonight. They're graduating and the EMT people were running late. Like they said, yeah, we're like 20 minutes away. We're running a little late. These are all EMT graduates. So I hooked her up with public enemies. 911 is a joke. <laughs> I said, Annie, you got to play this for them. And she was dying laughing. I was playing it in the car for her. And I was like, you got to play this. This is old school right here. They're going to remember you forever. She was like, oh my God. So I was playing it for her and she was cracking up laughing. I was like, yep. This right here, 911 is a joke. Play this for your little EMT friends since they running late for the party tonight. <laughs> my trip to downtown Phoenix right there. So that was my trip and it was actually, how much? 16 miles, so it was 17 miles total. Oh, the girl gave me a $3 tip on the first one. $15 for like that 2.4 miles, it was about really three miles, almost four, good. And that $23 one, like I said, it was 33 minutes, $23, not quite a dollar a mile, but they were cool. So I gave them my um my card and everything because one girl's from Tucson, the other one lives here, and they always need rides all the time. And the one lady was like, oh, and yeah, they surcharge you all the time. That's what she was saying in the back. She says, oh, I said, hey, here's my card. I said, yeah, because in case you come into the airport or something like that, she said, oh, yeah, because they surcharge you all the time. <laughs> So if they know about Uber and Lyft, they already know the fucking game already. She was like, yeah, they surcharge you all the time. I was like, I ain't even have to say shit. As soon as I gave them the car, they already knew already. Yeah, we, we in good hands now. We got a nice ass car. We got a cool ass driver. We in good hands now. So I gave each one of them a card. So I'm going to pull over right here because I got till what, 9 o'clock to go pick up my, my uh, ride. And it's only 7.51. So I need a couple of short bangers. I don't need to do nothing that's long. There's no surge down here, 450 boost. I don't want to leave downtown, so, because <clears throat> I'm right where I need to be, because I need to be like where it says Fillmore Street, like I'm right here. I need to be over here where it says Fillmore Street, right in that area. So they dropped me, when I got dropped off, this is where I ended up. So it was perfect. And they were like, and I was like, yeah, I got an appointment downtown anyways. It was like, oh, perfect, perfect. So yeah, that was a really good ride, really good ride. Nice ladies, real nice ladies. So, dang, look at the size of this dog. What the hell? What's up, Rufus? What are you doing? That dog is massive. <laughs> Man, what kind of dog is that? He's like a St. Bernard. No. It's a, it's a, uh, he's a, yeah. Bernie's Mountain Dog. Bernie's Mountain Dog? Jesus Christ. I saw him walking around the corner. I was like, holy crap. That <laughs> I know I got a husky about half that size. <laughs> He's the sweetest dog in the world. Yeah, you can walk him without a leash. He's pretty cool. He's pretty good. Yeah, my dog without a leash, she'll be gone. She'll be running up to everybody. No, he's, he'll stay right with me. <laughs> oh, man. He's a beautiful dog, man. All right, brother. Yeah, that was pretty cool. The dog came walking around the corner. I was like, what the hell? Look at the size of this dog, dude. And then the dude came later. He don't even have him on a leash. Dog was cool as hell. Just walked right past the car, just minding his own business. <laughs> that was cool as shit. I love dogs, man. But yeah, I'm going to see if they got some more opportunities in here for me. Probably not. Uh, Seven to eight. Well, that's Saturday. Seven to nine. Rides only. Say, I think I already got that already. I think I already had that already. Then that one's nine to 10, okay. So right now I'm doing a seven to nine with the 450. But like you said, they're not sending me nothing. I've been sitting here, you you see they ain't sent me nothing yet. I'm sitting here. I got that $3 tip for my first ride. So I got that $3 tip and I got that one. So let me see, I've been online, okay, 40 bucks. I've been online for about an hour, just about. Like I said, I did two rides, scouting and everything else. Like I said, an hour. 
my first ride only took me what five minutes like six minutes the next one took 33 so less than an hour of driving actually less than an hour of driving i've already made like almost 40 bucks but this is the thing i need to hurry up and get on the ball because nine o'clock i got my other shit going i need to go so let me go inside a lift real quick let's see what lift is talking about lift grift that's my man drew say grift all right, but they're going to sit me in some surge. You got to sit me in some surge, y'all. I'm south of the surge. Man, I'm not going on no lift. Nope. If they ain't got me in surge, I ain't going on it. Not even thinking about it. Nope, nope. So, yeah, while I'm down here, I think I'm going to play it safe and just kind of get offline right now. I'm not going to let them, like, sew me up with another fucking trip, and I'll be way out in the middle of nowhere. 8.15 almost, and that was my last trip. I just saw a tip pop up on my screen. Six books. They probably tipped me 10, but, you know, Uber, they gave me three on that one, six on that one. So they probably gave me a $10 tip, and Uber's just saying, okay, we're going to split that $10 between both of these rides. <laughs> you know how Uber be doing. Ain't no way the motherfuckers tip me $6 even. Ragged-ass Uber. Boy, they be doing me that way. Here's six, here's three. Normal people probably hit a percentage and was like, okay, cool, cool. And Uber's like, we're going to keep part of that money. But I got to be about a mile away from where I am now, about 1.7 miles away. So I'm going to help that way now and see if I can sit by a Circle K or something like that. And then I'll pick up my 9 o'clock. Because like I said, I'm just relaxing for the next hour. I'm not going to be sitting up there trying to mess with these people, man. They're going to end up giving me a ride and taking me way out of the mix. And I got to fight all the way back through all this crazy traffic. So I'm cruising right now. So I'm going to make like 45 bucks. My private ride is going to pay me about $30, $40 for that. And then I can get back on the apps again and, and start back at it. Start back at it. All right, so I'm done with that appointment. Let's open up Uber real quick and see what I got in here. That was not a bad ride. Easy ride. Super easy ride. So let me go in here real quick. All right, I'm still in my $2 boost. You got to be kidding me. A $2 boost with no surge nowhere? Where's the surge at? Way down there. Man, you motherfuckers are raggedy. I cannot believe it. Am I on Uber Pet? Nope, I'm on regular Uber. What kind of reservation I got? Let's see. $5.45, $21, uh, 7 miles. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because I'm already going to be up at 5 anyways for that other one. So that's about an hour I got those two. So that's going to be like 40 50 bucks for that hour. All right. Now let me go into Lyft. Let's open up Lyft real quick. See what they got jamming over here. Cause pretty soon, yeah, these motherfuckers, boy, they gonna have to start putting surge or something out because ain't nobody driving for their ass. I'm gonna turn lift on and see where lift on surge at. Nowhere. Saturday night, 9:10, no surge. Wow. It is 9:10 p.m. Saturday night, Phoenix, Arizona. Ain't like I'm in the middle of BFE nowhere. They only got down here in Tempe. Is the only place they got surge, and there's parties going on everywhere, everywhere. Look at the airport. 26 drivers three dollars for two miles no we're good we're good <coughs> Ooh, had to sneeze real quick sneeze please let's turn lift off because lift ain't got nothing out there i don't allow these motherfuckers to use my luxury car for bullshit rides just because they did away with lux that's their fucking problem so we're not going to support them they don't support lux they threw us on extra comfort motherfucker how many extra comfort rides have you seen on my phone since they opened up extra comfort in October. Probably about four or five total. So four or five total extra comfort rides in the past month. Four or five total. And you got the nerve to tell us, well, Lux is not, you know, requested. Motherfucker, extra comfort ain't requested. I done seen four or five of those motherfuckers in the past month. And you got the nerve to talk about some, yeah, we're gonna put you guys on extra comfort. No, we not doing that. We not playing that game. So now they're gonna have a hard time sending us rides and everything because we ain't taking them. Ain't nobody taking them. Where am I at? All right, downtown Phoenix. Yeah, I'm right on Van Buren and 19th, so I'm going to head back down towards downtown Phoenix to see exactly if there's any rides down there. If there is, I'll let you know. I'm about to listen to me some music for a while and head back down the street. I was listen to music, and I got something that was like a mile away, and it's for a six-mile ride for almost $13, basically $2 a mile pretty much. So I'm going to go down here, pick up Bethany real quick. She's only on 44th Street where I'm going to drop her off at. 
easy ride real quick. Like I said, I'm, this is my first ride back on the app after my private ride. Let's see if they're going to keep giving me $2 a mile rides. If they drop back down into the 50 cent a mile $1 rides, I'm kicking them all out. Here we go. And that one trip I did from downtown, look at that. I see you, motherfucker. That $10 tip. That was the one that was at six mile. I was a couple of miles away from them, got them down there. 22 bucks for that, $10 tip on that. I'm doing these little short hops right now. That was a real little, that was about two miles for 205. That was about four miles for 944. And now I'm sitting in the booth zone right now. So I'm gonna go back online real quick. They got 925 down the street from me, but I don't know if I wanna go get that yet. I'm still debating. $16 for that. Hmm. No, nah, that's 10 miles. Let's not do that. That's that's $16 for 10 miles. I already got a bonus. I got a streak. I got a lot going on right now. So that's not enough. I got to get at least $2 a mile. If I can't get $2 a mile, it's not even worth it. Because I'm sitting in this booth zone right now for $2 plus $325. So I should be at $5 right now. So give me something real short and it should work out for me. They keep trying to give me these 10 mile trips and shit like that. 10 miles is not going to cut it for me. Whoops. Uh, let's see. What is that? Uh, Twelve twenty-five for about six miles. Let's take it. It's two dollars a mile. Let's try to do that. Let's try to do that. So let's go pick up Dominique real quick from the little little bar called the Porch up here. So that's almost two dollars a mile. Like I said, tips are coming through tonight, so I'm, I'm feeling a little good about some of these trips, even though they're a little bit short. The tips are making up the stagger right now. So I'm kind of giving people the benefit of the doubt by picking up motherfuckers that I normally wouldn't pick up because the people that are tipping are helping me break up that little, break that stagger a little bit. So for all you people out there, they'd be like, oh, I ain't got a tip, I ain't got a tip. Trust me, it's too many motherfuckers carrying you lazy motherfuckers. Y'all need to start helping people out, you know what I'm saying? We know the apps ain't paying drivers what they should be paying us, and you guys know that shit. So if you can't help us out, gonna keep getting declined all the time because people can't keep carrying the load for you motherfuckers this ain't socialism god damn it we out here working we out here working trying to get this shit done putting a lot of money in the tires and brakes and shit like that bumpers and shit we got to keep buying so everybody's trying to help out everybody to get your ass home so help us out let's do this shit together okay so now i'm trapped in this little neighborhood trying to find my way out of here just dropped off miss dominique let me see that was my last trip right there my last trip, 325 surge, yeah, two miles. That was it. It was real quick. It took me like four miles to get to her, two miles, $2 a mile. That was good, dude. And that's what I'm looking for, $2 a mile. Four miles to get to her, picked her up. Man, that was quick, quick little hop right there. So, like I said, and that one, I love the fact they tipped me 10 bucks because that was $12 for like seven miles just about. And I said it was almost going to be $2 a mile. I said, I'm going to do it anyways because it was almost $2 a mile. And what did they do? They tipped me 10 bucks. See, that's how you got to do sometimes, man. You got to do it like that sometimes. All right, so let me see where we at. All right, so there's no surge really around me anywhere. The best surge is down by my house, $7, but I'm not going all the way back down by my house. Forget that. I'm going to go sit up here at a quick trip somewhere. I got I didn't really eat dinner dinner tonight, so I need to find out what I'm going to eat, man. I need to buy me like a fucking tuna fish sandwich or something. I know somebody in this motherfucker sell a tuna fish sandwich. Because I'm not eating no fucking McDonald's french fries, no crazy. I just don't eat that shit, man. I can't eat like that. And these motherfuckers be eating that shit. They be out cruising around eating big ass cheeseburgers and shit. I can't do that, man. It's like, that shit will tear your motherfucking stomach up. And you got to drive people around. So you driving people around, sound like you ate a motherfucking gremlin and shit. Your whole motherfucking stomach growling like a motherfucker. You're like, what the hell you eat? Stomach got bubble guts like a motherfucker. You're like, I, I got to take a fucking pit stop, man. God damn, I ate a fucking greasy ass cheeseburger. I need to stop. That's why I can't eat that shit. Give me a tuna fish, egg salad, sandwich, something like that. I'm an easy light eater. I'll even eat sushi. I'll eat some motherfucking sushi. But I don't see no sushi place out here. Because sushi, you can run in real quick. Eat you a California roll, eat you a motherfucking spider roll, eat something, get back in the car. That shit's lightweight. I used to do that shit when I rode motorcycles, you know what I'm saying? I cruise around for a while, stop somewhere, get some sushi. I used to say, I got pictures of my son. He was like two, three years old. I'd take him with me to go get sushi sometimes. So he was eating that shit when he was a little kid. Most kids don't eat sushi. He was tearing that shit up. But he never knew no different. Like, I never really had him on fast food. 
but he he became a fast food eater because I used to you know I shared custody back and forth. So he used to love McDonald's and shit. Can I get some chicken nuggets? I'm like, motherfucker, we'll make some in the oven. I ain't gonna buy no fucking chicken nuggets from McDonald's. We gonna make some in the oven. So we get a whole big ass bag of chicken nuggets from the grocery store, and he loves that shit. So I taught him how to make chicken nuggets, how to set the oven, how to do stuff like that. So and that's why you know by the time he went back to his mom, he knew how to cook, he knew how to prepare food and do all that shit. Cause I taught him that. You know, going through a drive-thru is not like human shit. That's robotic shit, going through a drive-thru all the time when you get hungry. You got to stay home and cook food, man. That's human shit. Stay home, cook food, feed yourself, take care of yourself, learn how to cook. I mean, you're lucky we don't live near the woods, motherfucker. We be out there shooting squirrels and shit, eating them motherfuckers. <laughs> Yo, as lucky we don't live by the woods. What the fuck you eating today? Eating a squirrel salad, motherfucker. Like, what? <laughs> it's like, my dad got us out here eating rabbits and shit. Fuck, this motherfucker don't want to go to McDonald's. We eating a whole fucking rabbit. <laughs> All right, just finished taking me a quick little break. Still sitting there, quick trip up here. But I'm like, woo, man, I needed that break. I needed that break. As you can see, there's still not a lot of surge in the area I'm in. All the surge is down south. Whenever I'm south, all the surge is up north, so you know how these motherfuckers play games. I'm going to turn it on anyway. Let's see what they start doing. I got a, what, 450 boost between 10 and 11. 450 boost. Uh, $19 for 21 miles. That's Uber X shared going out to Avondale. Don't think so. I don't do Uber X share just because, especially, you know, Saturdays and shit like that. If it's an Uber X share, it's like two or three miles, I'll do it. But when they get to be really long Uber X shares, they're not worth any money to us. So a lot of us won't even take them. We won't even entertain that shit. We're like, dude, as soon as you see that share afterwards, look at that. Uber X, where am I going? Down the baseline, down the Mesa? No, we're not going to do that. I'm not trying to go down. 21, that was about, about 13, 14 miles. 21, I got that 450 boost on there. No surge whatsoever because they got all the surge everywhere where I'm not. So we're going to see if they give me something short or something like six, seven miles. You know, that right there, oh man, that's close, but yeah, I'm not going way up there. Wait a minute, let's let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. All right, let's, let's okay, we pick up Chase on a Mon Vista and we'll take him up. It won't be too far away. All right, let's try that. Let's try Chase's. Like I said, I wasn't going to do it. I'll try it and let's see what happens. Like I said, it's, it's not that bad of a trip, but at the same rate, it's not some shit that I'd rather be doing right now. But I'm going to do it just to see what happens. He'll probably get me up a little bit to where probably some surge is going to be sitting. Let me turn it on last ride so they don't fuck with me real quick. All right, so let me go over here, pick up Chase, see if we can make this money. Yeah, they was tripping with that one. That shit, like I said, they wanted to get me up here to send me further north. That was way far north. And I'm like, yeah, no. Nah. $26 to go about 15 miles way down there. Nah, I'm not going down that way. Nope, not going down that way either. Like I said, they trying to, this is when they start sending fucking nature hikes. They think, okay, he took a long one. Let's keep sending him long ones now. Nope. Like I said, I'm not that far. I'm just up by like 10th Street and shit like that. See, they keep trying to send me farther north. I'm not trying to go far north though. $16 for I'm not trying to go that far north. No, nah, no. Nah. Is it $20 to go what, back towards Scottsdale? Uh, no, nah, I don't want to go back towards Scottsdale right now either. See, they, they keep trying to send me on all these long ass fucking runs here and there. I'm not trying to do no long run right now. I'm just up on 7th Street, which is just north of uh, downtown Phoenix, which is cool. I'm guaranteeing there's people in downtown Phoenix right now. That $15 for that. Yeah, that leaves me in the same area. $15 or like six miles leaves me in the same area. So I'm going to go up here, pick up Kale, then go right back behind me and drop him off back there. It leaves me in the same area. I just don't want to be going all over the damn place, you know, 10 miles away, 14 miles away. I'm not trying to do all that right now. They can't find something that's in the general vicinity of where I am. They can send it to another driver. I don't want it. Send it to another driver. Ain't nobody got time for that. 11 o'clock, I'm done with all those little boost zones and shit like that. And again, far south, they got all the surges. They have nothing where I am. Because like I said, this is what they do. They make sure they don't put shit where I am, so I have to drive somewhere else to get surge. So this is where all the surge is, far out away from me. Everything else, I'm not going to get it. I'm still by downtown Phoenix. So I'm going to go, uh, I got about 66 miles left till empty. I've been driving on this gas for about a week now. <laughs> it's the last time I filled up was like about a week ago. 
So I'm like, man, I gotta go put more gas in this thing because I know I'm gonna run out tonight. I mean, actually, I probably won't. 66 miles, no, I will. Because I got those five o'clock in the morning appointments. Yeah, I will run out of gas. So let me go gas this thing up down at Quick Trip. For the day, like I said, I've only been online. Oh, damn, 128 bucks. Oh, shit, I'm over 100. Almost three hours. Last night was about almost four. Tonight was just about the same, like an hour less. So last night was about three hours it took me of scouting and all that shit. Tonight it took me, that was, no, four hours last night. Tonight was three hours to make the same. Just scouting and driving around. Like I said, my time, my online time is about the same. Or my driving time, my driving time is about the same. My online time, it is whatever it is. Like I did eight trips tonight. Last night I did 12 trips. You know, and I made just about the same amount. Tonight, the tips were really helping out. So the tips were carrying me all night tonight, which is cool because I got what? $19 in tips, $17 in promotion. Last night, $30 in promotion, $21 in tip. So last night's fares was $77. Tonight's fares were $92. So my fares were more tonight, less rides, more fare. I had four less rides tonight, but I made more in fare. 12 rides last night gave me $77 in fare. Eight, dollar, eight trips tonight gave me 92 in fare. So that's where everything's hitting, you know what I'm saying? It's like the rides tonight were worth a little more money. The tips were like about the same, 19, you know, 21, about the same. Promotions, I made $13 more in promotion last night than I did tonight. I made like, what, $30 last night in promotions on those trips, and tonight I only made 17. But the net fare tonight was higher. My net fare was higher than everything else just because they were just paying better, you know, no surge was out there, just zero surge, nothing really going off a of surge, but they were just paying better and fair. So I don't know, 128, it's only 11 o'clock, it's 11, 11, there we go, it's 11, 11 right now. So I can kind of take me a break. I'm gonna go up here, gas up, take me a break, see if they start throwing some surge out. If they don't so throw surge out, I probably just, you know, kick back and see when all my, um, my private rides are gonna start coming in. I got airport private rides tomorrow at eight. So I got at a reservation at 5, reservation at like 5.30, and then I got private rides starting at 8 tomorrow. So here's my, see what I got. Yeah, tomorrow, yeah, 5 o'clock I got that one for 5 miles. Then I got that one for a little bit more, 21 for like 8 miles. And then 5.45, then I'll be kicking back, chilling, relaxing and everything. And then I'll end up hitting my 8 o'clock um I think Skylar has to be at the airport by 8. No, I think I got to be at his spot by 8. So it'll be a pretty fast morning tomorrow. It'll be pretty quick. And as soon as I drop him off at the airport, I'm going to hotel at home, take me a nap, be done for the day. But I'm going to cruise up here right now and get me some gas before I run out in this motherfucker. Here's the Circle K right here. All right, that's what I'm down to right now at 1130, just about. I'm about to fill this thing up and get the road going. All right, there we go. $56, what, 13 gallons. Let's see what we can do with this. Hold up for a second. Let me get my receipt real quick. All right, I was wiping my car down. Let's go see how many miles we gonna get going in on this thing. <laughs> Dang, 337, 340. Okay, it's probably gotta settle for a second. Let me turn this thing on real quick. 339 yeah it's gonna be settling going back and forth once i get the move in the car it'll probably settle around about 340 that's probably what it'll be i didn't super super fill it up like top it off but i ran it just good enough but let's see what we can do with this much gas how many days is this gonna last me i think about four or five because i ain't driving a whole lot gassing up i got seven dollar surge around the corner from me real quick and i ain't even left the parking lot yet and look at hold up for a second i'm gonna show you something i ain't left the parking lot yet Gas is already climbing up already. Check it out. 343. I ain't even drove nowhere. It's going up slowly. It's going up. Maybe it'll hit 345, 350. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, for a second. Let me go back in here. Okay, so let's cruise down here real quick. See if I can go get this $7. I got to drop straight down the street where I am now. Drop straight down, curve to the east a little bit. I can pick up that seven. I got it on uh, Uber Pet right now. Let me put it on Go. I got it on Uber Pet right now. Uh oh, let's see who's gonna give me some reservations. What we got? Uh, six twenty in the morning. Two twenty one. Six twenty in the morning. Five miles. All right, let's accept that. 
that'll be my last one because I got access. Like I said, I got eight o'clock. I got my own guy, so I gotta you know not be trying to push too close. I'm up to 425 surge right now. Yeah, I can't be pushing too close with these airport things. I gotta get out to my guy, pick him up, get him to the airport. So that might be the last one I do for the morning. So I got this 128 right now. Try to wrap this up. I like drive till about three or four. Go take me a break at home real quick before my reservation start at five. Maybe take like an hour nap. I don't know, take like an hour nap. And then start my morning reservations because I gotta go from five till damn near eight o'clock if I'm gonna get my guy too. So, it's, like I said, it'll be a, it'll clearly be a $200 day. Cause I think the next three reservations I got are all $60. If I can get tips with those, they'll probably be 60, probably about 80. So I'll be over $200 just off Uber. But then I gotta turn around and, um, what the hell? Then I gotta turn around and, and do my own guy. Then I gotta see if I can wrap up tonight with more money. All right, I'm at five fifty. Seven dollars is another dollar fifty. I don't need the extra dollar fifty. I really don't. So let me go ahead and turn it back over to Alpha of Paw Patrol, back to Uber X, and see what we got. See if they're gonna give me some shit. Give me some good ass trips, man. They probably gonna try to send me to Scottsdale right off the bat. Like, go pick up some money in Scottsdale. What did I tell you, Scottsdale, right off the bat, man? Eight miles for that? Nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. What's that? I don't want to do Scottsdale yet. Four dollar next surge. I can go to the east a little bit and get that seven. I can go to the east a little bit, pick up that seven dollars. Seventeen dollars? Nope, not doing that either. That was seventeen dollars to go up north to pick up somebody and then go all the way back down south again. Twenty-one dollars to go to Chandler? Nope, not doing that one either. That was about fourteen miles to go twenty-one. So, 14 miles, $21, don't want that. $28, multiple stops. Nope, definitely not doing that, hell no. Not doing that. Let's go see if I can pick up this $7. $11 off, I gotta do that. $11 for about four miles, man, I gotta do that. See, that's the shit they do. They knew I was gonna go get that $7, old raggedy motherfuckers. They knew I was gonna go get that money. They could've gave me that fucking shit earlier. But yet, what they do, they was fucking around with me, trying to get me to go to goddamn Scottsdale and shit with these bullshit trips. They knew I was gonna go get that $7. It was like, okay, he's kicking all this shit out. He's gonna go get the $7. <laughs> then they finally said, okay, let's let's give him a good trip. Let's give him a good trip. Give him Molly, goddammit. Give him Molly. Fuck that. So this is the shit I'm talking about. You know, I'm on the side of the road, cleaning out my car, getting ready for my next ride and everything. And look at that shit. Let me, hold up. Let me, let me shine some light on it for you. Hold up for a second. See that? That's a hole from a hill. That's a fucking hole from a high hill in my brand new fucking mats. I just bought these mats not even a month ago. I replaced the old ones that I had in here. Look at that shit. You see all these high hill prints. There's a print right there. High hill print. Over here. That's it. Fucking big ass hole. That's a fucking hole in some brand new fucking mats, man can't have shit nice around this motherfucker look these are all high hill holes look at that shit there's one right there high hill holes look at that and that one's a hole that went all the way through somebody dug they fucking hill all the way down to my mat fuck my mats up and these are the brand new m mats i just put in here you can see a couple of them over there there's a high hill print right here like there's a high hill hole right there man 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 fucking pisses me off brand new fucking i ain't put no more mats in this motherfucker fuck these people man fuck these people and these non-tipping motherfuckers this is what they do they sit around tear your motherfucking car up we ain't gonna tip you this is why we can't have nice shit right here back of my um my acceptance rates especially on lyft so i decided to take a look today <laughs> i was like are you serious let me see. My acceptance rate is 2% on Lyft. Look at that shit. 2%. My cancel rate is 2%. I'm still a five-star driver. No safety flags. No service flags. But 2% acceptance rate? That means every two out of 100 rides on fucking Lyft are okay. The rest of them are fucking trash. That's crazy. So I'm 2% over there. And then on Uber, what am I as far as today goes? Let me see. What do I got? My dog's in there barking at me. My dog's mad because I won't let my dog outside. Let me see if I can go in here and see. Here we are. 29% acceptance, 23% cancels. 
Not bad, 4.99. There we go. Let me see how many rides have I had. Almost 7,000 rides. That's it, almost 7,000 rides. Not bad, not bad. Sunday morning, 9.30 in the morning, about 9.34. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little, I'm gonna get some rods out the way because I got a 450 boost sitting there. I got nine more rods to get that 30 bucks. So I'm like, ah, fuck it, I'll do it. I don't even drive in the daytime. But I dropped my client off at the airport at like 8, 830. So now I'm gonna do a few rides. I slept pretty good last night. I ended my night last night at like 11 o'clock after that whole thing with my goddamn seat and shit. So I was only online for like three hours yesterday scouting and everything. Made 140 bucks in three hours of scouting. Uh, the night before that was about four hours of scouting driving. Like I said, I don't know what my online time was because they don't show you on Uber. They should show you your online time, but they don't. So whatever, 140 bucks, no problem. I got Paw Patrol on right now. Let's turn Paw Patrol off to see what they're going to send me. They'll probably send me some airport shit right off the bat, knowing these apps, because that's what they do. They like to try to get people to the airport cheap as they can early in the fucking daytime. And that's why I don't really do airport rides in the daytime. They're just, they're not worth it to me. I'd rather do like, you know, night runs, you know, four or five miles for 20 bucks a piece. Daytime, they'd be giving you a dollar a mile, less than a dollar a mile to drop people off at the airport. It's like, no, fuck no, we don't, I don't do that. That's not the type of driver I am. So let me get out of this driveway. Like I said, this is daytime, not when I'm used to driving. I can't tell you the last time I drove in the daytime. It's been a minute. So this is about to be pretty fun right here. I'm going to be running some motherfuckers off the road. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'll probably be cussing a few people out. That's all. They can they can deal with it. They can deal with a night driver in the daytime. They can deal with it. I'm like, fuck it. I'm up now. Might as well make a couple of bucks. I'll probably go uh, get on a live stream later on or something like that. But for now, I just want to kind of cruise a little bit. Go get me some breakfast. I didn't eat breakfast yet. So probably go do that in a while. For 15 bucks for what nine miles no nah, i don't want that i don't want that it's too much nine miles of driving already nah 15 bucks nah because that's only probably about nine dollars for nine miles right there and they give me the 450 boost on top of that so they can give me something shorter than that give me something like about you know six miles for like 10 bucks or give me that i'll take that right there all right that was like about almost five miles for like nine bucks that's what i'm looking for any damn ways like I said, I just want some short shit. I don't want a whole bunch of crazy shit. So give me some short. Get it out the way. Let me go pick up Esmeralda or Erosema. Sounds like emphysema like a motherfucker. I got bronchitis. Two real quick trips. They were short, very short trips. The last one was just taking a dude to work to Walmart, like three miles. And I was right around the corner from him. That was about almost a little over $2 a mile. The one at the top, that was probably close to about two, three dollars a mile for the 991 right there. So like I said, these trips are pretty quick early in the morning and I'm gonna try to go do a couple of more. I'm out of the boost zone. So I think boost ran out at 10 o'clock. They tried to send me a ride like 23 miles total for $15 and it had a 450 boost on it. So it was like $11 for that trip. I was like, nah, I'm cool. Look at that Starbucks, $2.50 for that shit. It go almost seven miles, six and a half miles, 20 minutes of driving. If you multiply that by three, you get an hour but you also get $7.50 an hour. If you do that shit, if you do three of those in an hour, you get $7.50 an hour, but you also are going almost 20 miles. You're doing about 20 miles of driving, you're making $7.50. Guarantee if you're driving 20 miles, a gallon of gas is like almost five bucks, and I get about 26 miles a gallon. So I'm basically using I'm making two dollars that hour because I'm making 750. It's costing me five for gas to go 26 miles, and I'm going 20 miles. I'm basically making two dollars that hour. That's what I'm making. <laughs> Tell me that shit ain't funny as a motherfucker. And these people are like, we ain't gotta tip you. Yeah, fuck that coffee, motherfucker. Old dad, as he has dirt fucking coffee. You think I'm gonna drive around at a profit margin of two dollars an hour? Two dollars an hour profit margin. Which means if I want to make $200 that week driving like that, I got to work 200 hours just to make two fucking hundred bucks. Or I got to work 100 hours to make $200. A hundred hours. Man, shit, look at that shit. Fucking 31 miles for 17 bucks. That's way the hell up there. Man, they out they mind. Daytime driving is nuts. That's crazy. 31 miles, $17 to go way up there. When's the next boost period start? Because I don't think I can drive if it ain't no boost on here. 
uh, 11 o'clock. And then you got it from 11 to 12, then 12 to 1. And then 3 to 4, you got the 450. Yeah, I might have to go on break real quick. Because this shit, yeah, I'm not driving around with no fucking boost on. These motherfuckers out they fucking mind. I mean, they, they paying $17 for 31 miles to go clear to the other side of town? No. Shit on lift. I ain't do shit on lift this week. I think I made what? I did one trip. I made $6.33 on one fucking trip all week on lift. And that's it. That's all I did was that one damn trip. $6.33. And it was that one right there. That shit was two. I drove almost three miles on lift all week. That's it. That's it. For six bucks. Fuck lift. These motherfuckers, like I said, we ain't going to be out here driving for these. I don't see how they're making all this profit if ain't nobody driving for them. I just don't see it. I don't see it. Because the only time we are driving for them is when we're doing short trips and we're getting two, three dollars a mile. How in the hell are they making money? Plus, we're getting ride bonuses on everything. How in the hell are they making money? That shit don't make no sense to me. We started at 11 o'clock and I'm sitting clear over here. I've just been over here chilling. I actually went to Cane's and got me some chicken. Some goddamn chicken tenders. The motherfuckers taste, they just taste like they not cooked all the way. I don't know. Maybe I cook my food too good. I got seven more trips to make 30 bucks. So I'm going to see what kind of shit I got out down here. $3 for that? No. No, we're not doing that. They're out there fucking mine. I think I'm going to do a $3 goddamn trip? No. And that's about three miles for three bucks. We're not doing that. Man, I got to get out of here. How do I get out of here? Okay, I can just circle back around this way. Yeah, they out there fucking mine. I know I don't, you know, I'm not in the boo zone and shit like that. And they're thinking, oh, yeah, give him a trip. Give him a trip. He's not in the boo zone. No, I still say fuck no to these trips. Look at that. Five miles for like four bucks. Nope. Another one. Another one of those again. Because that's not what we take, man. These apps got to realize we're smart enough to realize what we should or shouldn't take. Just because they're not paying us the money don't mean we're going to say, oh, man, I'm going to get a ride. No, I'm not taking these people. These people probably paying, you know, $13, $14 for these trips, and they trying to give us, like, less than $5. So I'm like, no, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Let me go this way real quick. Yeah, I'm cool on that shit. I'm not taking nobody around for no $5, no $3, and no nice-ass car. It's like we don't, we don't operate like that. So hopefully, you know, these people out there that are getting rides and everything, especially in the daytime, ask your drivers for business cards. Trust me on this one. You're going to need it because these apps are going to fucking collapse one day and you're going to need it. You're going to be like, man, I wish I knew a driver. Trust me. You know a driver. Let me throw this shit in the trash can right about here. Yes, got it. Yeah, you're going to need it. Let me see what's in trip radar. Look at that. Look at that shit. $3.65 for a 10 miles driving to get some Pollo Loco. That's 30 minutes of driving, $3.65. That's $7.30 an hour. $7.30 an hour doing that delivery right there. Who the hell is driving around for $7.30 an hour doing deliveries? That shit's nuts. That shit's nuts. But I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta start getting y'all shit together. Let me, I'm gonna turn this off real quick. Cause I'm gonna show y'all, you know, this is what I do when I, when I'm out, when after I give my business cards and stuff like that out. Hold on for a second, let me get through all this shit. Go through here. This is one of my rides I did last night. Like I said, where am I at? Okay, that's my ride I did last night right there. So that's my ride from last night. She called it the magic carpet ride. She told her friends, all you got to see is BMW. It's like a magic carpet ride. I was rolling laughing. So that's a ride I did last night. And I only charged her $30. It wasn't that far of a ride. It was a $30 ride. She gave me $50 for it. That's what I do when I give out my business cards. People, we're always, they want to help us. These people really want to help us. They want to get from point A to point B. They're willing to help us. So I'm willing to like, you know, do private rides for them. I know what these cards are worth. This is my homeboy right here. This morning, I charged him, what, $30 for an airport ride? Right, that's my man right there. I charged him $30 for an airport ride this morning, and he gave me $45. I charged him $30 for the ride. He gave me $45. And I was just to the airport. Real quick ride from Mesa to the airport. Like I said, these people want to take care of us. Give out your business card. This is how it works. I'm about to crank Uber back up and see what kind of bullshit they got coming down the pipe. Yeah, I'm just cruising right now down Broadway. 
trying to get back towards my house. If they give me something toward the airport, new bread share. Ah, fuck it, I'll take it. It's going back to where I'm going any fucking ways. Man, I can't stand this fucking ragged ass app. What the fuck is that? 591? What? What the hell? I just did a trip. I just picked somebody up. That was stupid. They were trying to give me double rides like back to back. It's like, what the hell was that all about? So I'm taking this one real quick for 491. And they was trying to throw a 591 on top of that. I don't get that. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Because I've never had a, another ride come through with an UberX shared. I've only done like, you know, an UberX shared one way, the one leg. That was an UberX right behind the UberX shared. I don't get what just happened. If anybody's ever done an UberX shared and then picked up an UberX on the same trip, that that told me, I thought UberX shared matches with UberX share. So to have an UberX share pop up, I would assume somebody else who bought another shared seat would say, okay, I'm gonna buy a shared seat. But that shit, I don't know what that was right there. That was that was crazy right there. Because I could have showed up to that UberX and it could have been like four people. And if I already got somebody on UberX share already in my car, how can I pick up four people on the UberX? That's what they need to start saying. How many fucking passengers we got? What's our payload? I'm sick of these motherfuckers not telling us how many people we picking up. Now, with this is probably going to say one seat. Probably be two fucking people. Because that's how these raggedy motherfuckers do all the time. They Luckily, I'm going this way. I'm headed back to my house anyways. But usually, you know, UberX, they need to start saying, hey, this is UberX. There will be three passengers. Put a three on the fucking screen. Let us know what our payload is. I can't stand showing up to blind fucking pickups, not knowing if it's going to be three people, four people. I had a client call me last night for a private ride asking if I could do five. She said, can you pick up five? I was like, shit, I really wish I could. I'm trying to buy an SUV just so I can do shit like that, just so I can do it. I'm trying to get this SUV. But that's why I want to get an SUV to help out people like that. Because if, if I got to pick up somebody that's got four or five and I got an SUV, I don't care. But when you got a little baby ass car like this, all that shit's irritating. It's fucking irritating. Because you show up and it's like, man, everybody probably can't fit. Don't like that shit at all. Don't like that shit. Quick trip brought me back right into where I was trying to get to. It was 452, brought me back into like the little boo zone right on the edge right there. It's a real quick trip. Like I said, it wasn't, she was actually being picked up going to church. Like I said, it says zero miles. I don't know why it does that, zero miles. But it was probably closer to about a dollar a mile. But yeah, she was just being picked up, brought over here to church. So now I'm in my little $2 boost zone. So let's see if I can get a super short trip, $2 added. Maybe something like six bucks for about three miles. I would like that. Let's go back online real quick. If I can get six bucks for three miles, that'll work, that'll work. Oh no, that's crazy shit. Like nine miles for like 10 bucks. Yeah, I'm not trying to do all that. I'm not trying to drive no nine miles for no 10 bucks. Like I said, I'll take six bucks for about three miles all day. These long ass nature hikes, I'm not getting in that today. Not doing that today. Nine dollars for about 12 miles. Nah, we're good on that. Let's see, let's look in trip radar and see what we got. Yeah, a bunch of bullshit. 25 minutes for five bucks, 26 minutes for eight bucks, three dollars, 22 minutes. Man, look at these six miles. That's crazy. Yeah, I, yeah, that's, that's why I don't mess around with Uber Eats sometimes. The, the Uber Eats trip radars are garbage. The Lyft radars, I'll be okay. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. But this shit, no, nah, I can't mess with that. I can't mess with that. They be doing too much for me, they be doing too much. So let's see what we got on trip radar for Uber. Because right now, like I said, I'm about to probably hit my house in no time. These idiots, come on, man, drive right. So I'm about to hit my house in about probably three miles. So I got to do something before the next three miles. Because once I get to the house, I'm going to take a break for a while. I can get online later. No, $7 for some sushi. Nope, not doing it. 20 minutes of driving. Nah cool on that shit that's 21 dollars an hour we're going for 40 an hour trying to do something a little bit different if that was 14 dollars i could take it because 14 dollars for that multiply that times three i'm closer to my 40 dollars six dollars for that i could do that okay it's behind me 
So I gotta turn around. Cause you know these old ragged ass apps will do that shit. They sit there and be like, okay, Jeff, we're gonna do this. All right, so let me scoot over real quick. Get over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna U-turn and head back to where I just came from. Cause these raggedy motherfuckers don't know what the hell they doing. All right, let's go. the beamer for you right there this little car gets down they be like man that car be gone yep this motherfucker pick up speed in no time y'all don't want to mess with this car i don't want to mess with this car let me go pick up steven real quick this is my six bucks for my three miles that's what i was looking for about two dollars a mile so once i pick him up i hope i can get another one right behind it but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go on trip radar or i'm gonna go and stop new request just so they don't send me some bullshit after i pick him up Cause I pulled up and it's a fucking gate code. I can't stand motherfuckers that don't give me the gate code right off the bat. If you live in a gated community, text your driver the gate code when he's on the way. Cause if I pull up and I text you gate code and you ain't told me in about fucking 30 seconds, I'm canceling that motherfucking trip. 12.30, I've been home for a while, just eating and kicking back. Uh, my next good boost don't start till 4.50. It's a boost going on right now for $2. I'm not going back out till three o'clock. Like I said, I can't drive during this cheap shit. I said, this is where the boost is right now. There's no surge out there. Three o'clock, a boost is gonna start back up. This is what I've done today. And I was out scouting for like an hour. I did three rides, total about an hour. I was just scouting. I stopped and ate and everything like that. But it was, I mean, this is garbage. Look at that, net fare, 14 bucks. Promotions, nine. I'm getting more in promotions. Shut up. I'm getting more in promotions than I'm getting in fare. That's not good. I know even my dog's mad at that shit. That's garbage, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's bullshit. Tell Lyft what you think. What what you think about Uber? What you think? <laughs> exactly. Tell them. Be like, Uber, you cheap, raggedy <laughs> motherfuckers. Yeah, tell them. That's it. <laughs> they raggedy or what? These motherfuckers <laughs> raggedy? Exactly. That ragged ass Uber. Tell them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shit. I got that 450 boost zone going right now. Let's see how long it takes for them to send me a ride. I just turned this motherfucker on. They probably going to take about two hours to send me a ride right off the bat. <laughs> they going to give me this little funky 450. Only got six more rides to go before I hit that little $30. So I'm, as soon as I hit them six rides, I'm done for the night. I got shit to do today. I ain't got time for this, but I was like, you know what? The weather's kind of nice out. I'm going to cruise for a little bit. I got about three quarters tank of gas left from last night plus this morning. $36 to go to Apache Junction. They have a motherfucking mind. Because once I get out there, yeah, I'm out of the boot zone once I go out there. So that's $36 for 30 miles. It'll take me clear out to Apache Junction, which is way out past the boot zone. It's way out here. It's where Apache Junction is out there. So I only get one boost. That's it. I get one. Because then if I have to drive all the way back, I'm not going to make it enough time to get a second 450. So the best thing to do when you got boot zones like this, stay in your zone. Don't take no nature hikes. I mean, if they would have gave me like $5 a mile to go 30 miles, say, hey, man, we'll pay you 150 bucks. Cool, I'd do it for 150 bucks. But it's like, shit, I'd do it for 100. But hell, if I could just stay in my region and just drive around, why the hell do I want to go way out there? That shit makes no sense. Like some of these rides, like I said, especially for a first ride, I could see if it was like, you know, the last ride of the boost at the very end. It was like, hey, this is the last boost you're going to get for 450. You might as well take it for $36. 30 miles away from home, and that's the thing though, I'd have to come 30 miles back because I live here, I don't live out there. So it'll be a 60 mile round trip for $36 if I don't get a ride back. And your ride back is no guarantee. It's a wish, you wish you can get a fucking ride back, that's about it. But if you don't get one back, you got a 60 mile round trip right there. And you might not want to do that. So I always look at, you know, the time of day it is and it's still, it's only three o'clock right now. So it's still a full day open. But I'm not going to be sitting out at Apache Junction because they got, like, dirt roads and shit out there. Apache Junction is kind of out, like, you know, people got horses and shit still. They got animal rights on their land, so they got, you know, a few animals and shit. Might fuck around, get out there, Uber pet a motherfucking donkey or some shit. I don't fucking know. I'm not trying to go out there. So what I do is I stay out here. And I don't have to go down gravel roads. I don't got to get flat tires and shit like that. I just stay where I'm at. And that way, I don't have to worry about, you know, if I had the Jeep, that would be different. If I had the Jeep, I'd go out to Apache Junction and cruise around for a little bit. 
Because the Jeep can take that kind of shit. These little ass fucking sports cars? No. I'm not about to bottom out in nobody's motherfucking driveway trying to pick them up. I'm like, can you come up this way? Because she don't want to walk down that way. I'll fuck around and bottom out my car. Be like, man, I'll be mad as a motherfucker. Rip a whole nother front spoiler off. I'm like, I don't put two spoilers on this motherfucker and two diffusers on it already. So I bought a spoiler, ruined it. My man Stan Jinx came through, got the second one. Bought a diffuser, dude ran in the back of me. The absolutely motherfucker ran in the back of me. And so I replaced it. I'm replacing like two of everything on this motherfucker. Got a set of mats in here, replaced that with the other set of mats. Now I got the fucking hole in the mat. So I'm like, shit. So instead of putting wood down, I think I'm going to get some rubber mats. I'm going to put some rubber mats on top of these right here. Because I'm like, I'm not putting no cloth mats in here. I'm not letting people's fucking shoes and shit get all on my mats. So I'm going to put some rubber mats in here and that's it. But, yeah, that was one ride they sent me, that long ass nature hike. Like I said, they ain't going to send me nothing. Let me go inside a lift real quick. Let's see something. Maybe I'll go and lift and see what they'll send me. Yeah, I ain't got nothing right there. Clear all these notifications out. See if Liv got a surge or something going on in here. $24 in streaks up till 4 o'clock, but I got to go hit a streak zone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I ain't going to go find no fucking streak zone nowhere. Let's see if they allow me to start a streak anywhere. Man, Lyft is moving slow as hell today. What the hell's up with these apps, man? Accept or pick up in the first streak or whatever. I don't get that. I don't get that. I guess they don't have a, a actual zone. You can just pick it up from wherever you want to pick it up from. So I got Lyft on running right now. Let's see if they actually give me a ride worth taking. They give me something like, you know, six miles for like 11 or $12. I'll take it. But knowing these motherfuckers, they're not going to give me that. Slow as the rain go. Come on, man. Come on. Jeez, y'all are killing me on this ramp today, man. Y'all got to get it going. Get it going. Oh, they almost building the cross. Okay, I see what you're doing. All right. That's nice. That's nice. But, yeah, as you can see, they ain't sending me nothing on either app right now. And it's Sunday, 3 o'clock p.m. Nothing's jumping right now. That's why I don't really drive days. At night, this motherfucker be going off. People be trying to get places, man. They be going spots. Daytime, nah, it ain't, it ain't that much. And even when it is stuff in the daytime, they be trying to, like, send you on nature hikes and shit like that. Like, ain't nobody trying to do all that. So I'm going to cruise over here by ASU since I'm already close to it. I'm trying to do a bunch of short trips. <laughs> Let's see what I can do over here. Let me close out of everything. $17, but that's way up there. Man, they got a whole bunch of like drivers at the airport. I don't get what's going on on this map. $9 to go way down there? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. That's like $9 for like 12 miles to go south. It's like, and if it's a $15 streak, what they can do is give me something better than that. Like three dollars, go three miles. Let's take that one. That'll be the first ride of my streak right there. Let's see where am I gonna go? All right, so I go down to West 10, pick up somebody. That's the first ride of my streak right there. So I'll see what this is gonna do. Man, this map is moving slow. Jeez. Wait. Uber ain't sending me nothing right now, so I'm going to kick them offline real quick. Yeah, they not sending me nothing right now, so I'm going to go offline with them real quick. Let me now. I got stuck driving Lyft. Damn it. And it was all short trips. And the thing with Lyft, I think they gave me two challenges. I won like two challenges. Well, not one, but I ended up clearing out two challenges because I got a streak bonus for 15 there. Another streak bonus for 15 right there. So I got $30 in streak bonuses and $43 in rides, only two tips. I got a $5 tip right there and a $3 tip right there. But every ride I was taking was super short. They just kept throwing me trips. I, I started at about 314 and it's now, and my last one was at 421 uh, or 430. So that was probably about an hour's worth of driving in one hour from 314, 314 to 431, a little more than an hour. And I made $73, but it took me, you know, cause my, let me see what my, uh, 
drive time was. My actual drive time, let's go weekly breakdown. Hour 45 from the other night till tonight because I got two nights. So 73 then, now eight this time. So that was my actual almost two hours to make $80. About two hours to make 80 bucks. So about $40 an hour running on uh, Lyft. But this was all I did tonight right here. I mean, I started out with, you know, the ride bonuses. As soon as I got them, I, I got my three rides. I got ride, ride, ride. Well, the first one was nothing, I think. Wait a minute. How did I do that many rides and then hit a ride bonus? 314, 1834. Ride bonus. They jipped me. Because that should have been my first one there. Wait a minute. These motherfuckers jipped me. Because that, I, I did three rides bonus, three rides bonus. So one, two, three bonus. I don't know. Let's let this car go by. Hold up for a second. Yeah, so I did three rides bonus, then three ride bonus. So somehow, oh, see, I only did six rides. What the fuck? I only did six rides. So I did, oh, I see what they did. They gave me the ride bonus at 344, which is the same time I was doing that one. Never mind, never mind. I see what they did. They didn't rip me off because I'm like, I only did six rides. I didn't do no seven fucking rides. So yeah, so I did the first three. You know, one, two, three. Right there, I did the 314, the 318, 334. Then I got an actual streak bonus at 344. But they gave it to me because I had another ride already lined up at 344. So the 344 and then the 403 and the 421. Those are the other three rides right there. So I see what happened. I see what happened. So yeah, shit's crazy. Shit's crazy. I think I'm stuck in this fucking parking lot. I'm doing loops in this parking lot right now. Man, God damn. I'm stuck in a fucking parking lot. I'm stuck in a loop right now. Oh, this is going to piss me off. This is going to piss me off if I don't get out of this parking lot. Because what they got is they got a lot of construction going on around here. So I got to do something crazy. I got to go around the whole back of this place to come out on the other side just to get the fuck up out of here. Man, this is nuts. This is nuts. They done tore this city to fuck up. They done tore this city to fuck up, man. Yeah, but that was it. I did the six rides on Lyft, and I haven't done anything on Uber yet. I was supposed to do those that um, that four dollars and fifty cent for that one hour. That's gonna give me four fifty per ride. Even if I would have did three of those, if I would have did three of them, I would have got about thirteen dollars. Four fifty, four fifty, four fifty would have paid me about thirteen dollars. So it would have paid me 13. Instead, I got $30 in bonuses going on Lyft because I did all these short ass rides. I mean, this is how short some of these rides were. Look at this shit, like three miles for seven bucks. And then the one before that was that one, I got a $5 tip, three miles, $12. And just like I said, that's not even counting the $15 on there, the extra five on there. So because each ride had an extra $5 added to it. So instead of it has been $8.20, that was really $13.20 for two miles, like 2.65, three miles. So everything I was doing had an extra $5 added to it, even like these down here. That was eight, eight miles for $7.12, but $5 added, make it $12. Almost $1.52 a mile. But I had to take it because it was thrown in the streak. I needed it because it was bringing me back to where I needed to be. So I did that. And then if you look at the one that was right after that was the 606, that was five miles, six bucks plus five makes it 11, almost $2 a mile for that one. So I was doing a whole bunch of like little quick hops and shit, just a whole bunch of little short shit hops just to get that $30. Cause I only had an hour, I only had an hour to do it, but I got four rides within that first hour. So with, if I got four rides within that first hour, it automatically grandfathered me into the next, you know, $15 streak. So that's how I caught the second 15 streak. I had to hurry up and get one more ride before the hour flipped over and I got it. So like I said, it was it was a, I wanted to record when I was doing it, but I was going so fast. There's so much traffic by ASU because of all the shit they're doing. I didn't have time to record everything. So now here I am fucking stuck at the damn Tempe marketplace. Can't get the fuck up out of here because they got so much traffic everywhere backed up all over the place. Like I said, that shit happens, man. It happens. I'm stuck in here. I'll figure it out. But I got to get back on Uber in a while because I got to get those. Uh, I got six trips left to get on Uber. Uber never sent me a trip for that 450 
uh, ride bonus, so whatever, fuck them. I end up getting the $30 anyways. Free money's free money. I had to stop and take a break. I had to put some lotion on my ankles. See, I ain't used to driving in the daytime. My ankles was ashy as a motherfucker. Looked like I was kicking a big ass bag of flour. <laughs> I was like, God damn, see, I'm used to driving at night. I'm not used to seeing my ankles and shit. Man, my ankles was white as a motherfucker. I was like, God damn. Back in the game, baby. All right, I got Uber back on the fucking pooper scooper service. <laughs> Instead of cutting bushes today, I'm on Uber pooper scooper, motherfucker. Where I'm at, 510, no, I'm not going backwards that way. No, we're not going back. There's nothing but traffic up there. I just left there. We're not going back that way. Hell no. I'm going east. Anything east. I'd rather go to Apache Junction now. <laughs> if you can give me that ride again. Please give me that Apache Junction ride. Give me the fuck away from ASU. If you can hear me, Uber, Brittany, if you're on the controls, send me back to Apache Junction, please. I'll even take a Queen Creek. <laughs> Get the fuck away from ASU. Nope, not going up to Scottsdale either. Fucking traffic's a bitch. Like I said, everything to the west right now is crazy. I'm going east. Anything to the east that I'll go for. Because right now, over by ASU, they got the 60 clothes. They got the fucking 10 clothes. The 143 is jacked up. The 101, everybody's taking any road they can get to get up to Scottsdale, to get, you know, over to the west. So I'm taking my ass. I should have went to Apache Junction earlier. That was my sign right there. If I'd have took that Apache Junction ride, I'd have probably been a lot better off. <laughs> and it's like, cause right when I did all those lift rides, man, that was all by ASU. That was crazy. That's why it took me so long to do all them rides. I did six rides in about an hour. Nope, not going back to the airport. Hell no. Eight like eight dollars for ten now. Eight dollars for ten miles. Going back through that craziness. I'm not going back that way. Nope. I'm going to the east, motherfucker. I am not going back west for nothing. I swear, if a motherfucker try to send me to the west, if, if I grab somebody and we go east, and then they go, hey, man, can I add a stop? And them motherfuckers go west, I'm dropping their ass off right where we at. Motherfucker, get out my car. Get out. I'm going to drop kick that motherfucker right into a bush and give him a pair of shears and be like, cut them bushes while you in there. <laughs> I don't want to see a motherfucker in the curb lane. Shit, cut them bushes while you're in there. Nope, not going to the airport. Look at that. Almost 40 minutes for $11. 40 minutes for 11 bucks. No, doubt it. 40 minutes of driving, $11. Shit, doubt it, doubt it. Hell no. And today, like what? Uh, somebody was telling me today in the comments, they went, I think, 40 minutes, $67 in 40 minutes. They just offered me $11 for the same time frame. <laughs> Motherfucker made 60 something dollars. Hey, now I could do that right there. Let's do that trip. Let's do that. I could do that trip because it's going, it's going where I'm going, away from the craziness and then south a little bit. I'll go pick up Peggy. Fucking Peggy want a cracker. Motherfucker Polly want a cracker looking ass. That's Peggy twin sister. Polly. Peggy and Polly. All right, let's go get this trip out of the way right here. We'll go get this one. Like I said, in my last trip, I had somebody for like three bucks, but they canceled. But this is the one I just dropped off Peggy right here. This is Peggy's trip. Yeah, but it was so cool. Her and her husband, they were, he's like retired military. So he was like, we're talking about age and everything and life and all that. And he was like, do you know how, how old I am? And I looked at them and you know, they were like, I said, that pull up, they were standing outside. This was a cool little trip. They were standing outside. So I was like 65. Cause he looks like about 65. I'm 50. I'm like, okay, he's kind of younger looking 65. He says, man, I'm 76 years old. I was like, bullshit. There's no way you're 76 years old. He says, nope, 76 years old. I was like, dude, if I'm 76, I, I would pray to be that mobile, look that young, be that agile at 76 years old. I don't think age is what it used to be. I think the older we're getting, like we're, I don't know, I think we're elevating as a species. We're like, you know, becoming something different. Because even at 50 years old, I was down, I said, well, I don't really feel 50. I mean, I feel like I'm still like late 30s, maybe. I could like get out, run some game, you know, shoot some hoops or whatever, lift some weights, hang out, do whatever. I don't feel like what they said 50 would feel like. So maybe I think as a species, we're become we're we're staying healthier longer. And I think that's probably why they're trying to make everybody sick right now, because we're outliving. And the older population is living too long to where they can't take care of people no more. So they're trying to like get rid of a lot of people that are living too long. But I'm like, dude, I don't think I feel like 50, like what they said 50 would feel like. I don't feel like that. 
And I'm like, if you're 76 years old and you're telling me in 26 more years, I'm going to look like you and be mobile like you. I'm like, dude, this is never going to end. I'm going to live to be like 200 years old. <laughs> All right. I think that was my last ride right there. Now I'm saying $10 for two. So I made 92 bucks today. How long was I online for? Almost three hours, two, hour, two hours and 45 minutes out here, you know, scouting and grinding and driving. And I don't know how many trips I did today. Nine trips today. Okay, nine trips. Almost $10 a trip. Well, I got that promotion was $39. So I got the $30 plus the nine. Net fare was 51 bucks. Other earnings, 76 cents. A $1 tip out of nine trips. That's why I don't like driving for these fucking ragged ass apps. 361 bucks and almost nine and a half hours of scouting and everything else. Those are my days right there. Only reason why I did so well this day is because of that $30. Because just think, that was three hours at a, at a true 140. Three hours of true 140, but look at my tips. Look at my promotions. Look at my net fare. Now look at this shit from today, Sunday. Net fare, promotion. It was a whole bunch of short trips today, though. And with the traffic being the way it was, I couldn't really record how I wanted to because I had to pay attention to traffic. Like a lot of people, like there was some guy who was telling me, oh man, you gotta do this, 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 do all this shit with my telephone. But I'm like, you don't understand, man. When I drive, I'm recording. And if I'm not recording, I'm in traffic, I can't be screwing with my telephone, which is why I sit in parking lots. A lot of us know how to do this at a level without screwing with this phone all the time. I don't need to set a filter every time I turn around. I know my market, I know my areas, I know where I wanna be, I know what I'm going for. So if I don't wanna keep declining shit, I just go to last ride, that's it. I wanna do last ride anyways, because last ride lets me see where the surge is. If you keep taking rides and you don't do last ride, you're not gonna see where the surge is. You're gonna be picking up rides all the time and have a $20 surge sitting around the corner from you. So that's why I don't use a filter. I don't need a filter. I need to use last ride all the time. Last ride and stop the request. That way I can see where my money's at. But, so that's what I did today. I did what, 92 over there so i did 92 bucks there then i did what 45 this morning oh well another yeah 45 this morning from my airport 50 from last night showed up so that was about 180 total so far and then damn it hold up on lift what did i do on lift today Jeez. like it's 75 dollars so about so that was, let me see, so it was 75 plus 90, but make 160. Then you add the 45, puts me at over 200. You add the 50, so about 250 bucks a day I made today so far, $250. And I ain't really drove that long today. Like I said, I, I was online today for what? An hour and a half on Lyft to make that 73 bucks, about an hour and a half over there. Then on Uber, I was online for what, about a couple hours. So probably close to about, you know, three and a half. Then my appointment this morning took me about probably 30, 40 minutes. So that was like, I've probably been online all day, about four hours, five hours almost. You know, getting shit done and everything. You know, covered about 200 bucks. Because like I said, the 50 was from a ride from last night. Even though I didn't get it till today, the 50, one of the 50 was from last night. The 45 private ride was from this morning. So I ran about, you know, the 70 from the 90 makes that 160. Then you add the 45 from this morning. So I'm running about $200 on the day. And I only was online, uh, dropping around for about four hours, five hours. So not bad, not bad. It didn't take me 10 hours. That's all I give a fuck about. <laughs> it's like, it ain't taking me no 10 hours. I could do four or five for 200. I'm cool with that shit. 10, I'm not trying fucking 10, no. Like I said, I was over here on Uber. Yeah, I'm, I'm off that. So it was $92 over here. That was what, 92, about 245. Then it was about an hour and a half on the other one. So that puts me at about close to about four hours, about, yeah, close to about four, four and a half hours over there. So online, four and a half hours, not bad, not bad. Like I said, let's, we can swipe my earnings out of here. Nah, I'll let them send it to me. They can send it to me. I ain't gonna swipe it out. They could send me the 92 bucks. I'll let them send it to me, but that's it for my day right there. You know what I'm saying? That was my Sunday. $200 Sunday because it started with my private ride and then, you know, the rest was Uber and Lyft. Just had to knock that shit out. So I got $33 on Lyft from doing those streaks and I got $33 on Uber from knocking out that uh, final of that damn those rides. I had to do nine rides today. So I did those nine rides and got that 30 bucks. But it was really 30 rides 
but you know, I did not the last nine today just to get it out the fucking way. So I got $60 that was free today, 60 free bucks. That's what I'm talking about. Man, sometimes you gotta knock that shit out and get it done. And that's where I'm sitting at gas wise. Seven o'clock, 190 bucks, I'm done for the weekend. More, I mean, 190 miles till empty, got more than a half a tank to go. And guess what I'm sitting behind in traffic? A motherfucking Waymo. Look at that shit. <laughs> I'm sitting behind a fucking Waymo in traffic. Ended my night behind this motherfucker right here. Oh, ragged ass.